Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. My name is Janek Reis and I welcome you to my new video. If you're developing Android apps, you might stumbled already about the term app lifecycle. Even if the term is not unknown to you, let's quickly reconsider what that means. We have overall six lifecycle events that an activity can run through. We start with on create and go to on start, on resume, and on the other side, if the app or activity goes into the background, for example, we have on pause, on stop. And finally, if the activity or application gets destroyed, we have the on destroy. If we implement Kotlin's flow and we collect, for example, from a flow that is in the view model on the UI side, we often use the collect as state. But have you ever thought about what actually happens when the app goes into the background? Is your app still collecting these states or what does that actually happen there? If we ignore the app's lifecycle, it can lead to unexpected behavior and we might consume unnecessary resources. With the new Android X lifecycle library 2.6.0 alpha 01, there is a new extension function called collect a state with lifecycle. This function considers a lifecycle and if we use that function just instead of the collect a state, we don't need to worry about this problem anymore. But what is actually this problem? To get a better understanding of what happens if we don't consider the lifecycle when we collect from our flows, let's take a look at a practical example and at, at a negative practical example at what happens if we don't consider the app lifecycle. So, for showing off the negative example, I prepared a little example app. We have a tutorial view model here that contains an example counter with initial value of zero. It's just a state flow of the type int. And in the init block of the view model, we launch a new coroutine which contains an infinite while loop. And every two seconds, we increment that state flow by one. And then we just lock the incremented counter. At the composed part, however, we are using state hoisting and we have a tutorial screen that collects exactly from that view model with collect as state, the ordinary function you would use if you want to collect from a flow or from a state flow that, uh, for that example. Then we just pass in the counter to the tutorial content and at the end we just show a little text with counter and the respective counter. So if we start the app now, you can see in that corner that we have the counter which is incrementing and you see in the log cat, we have a counter invocation, which comes from the view model, and counter update, which gets locked as soon as this value gets updated. So that is fine. And the expected behavior, now that we know that the app's lifecycle needs to be considered, is that both of these values would still be updated when we put the app in the background. So let's see what happens. Oh, okay. We see that the lock from the composable is no longer recalled. But why is that? That is because the recomposition only happens when the app is really in the foreground. And if we start the app now again or bring it back to the foreground, you can see that the value gets updated again. So what is now the actual problem? That mm, seems like it's the expected behavior we want to have. But let's dive into it. The first thing is that we go into the collect a state and then we step into the collect a state from the flow extension function and we set a breakpoint right here in line 65. Now we activate the debugger and it's already starting. So, and if I mute this breakpoint for a second, 
And I bring that app in the background because we had no values in the foreground in the recomposition. I might think, hmm, okay, this collection also won't happen. So let's reactivate the breakpoint. Oh, and as we can see, even if the app is in the background, the collection of the values seems to still happen. And that is exactly the problem. So what we actually want is that if the app is in the background, this collection will no longer happen. In one of my latest Medium blog articles, I showed you how you can implement your own extension function to overcome this problem. And while this is still valid, we went forward with various libraries since then. And so it also came that the lifecycle library of Render.x also got some updates. And if we take a look at version 2.6.0 alpha 01, we can see that we have a new extension function that is called collect a state with lifecycle. If you are in your app level build Gradle, make sure that you have these dependencies in the dependency block with at least version 2.6.0 alpha 01. So if you declare these dependencies, you will have access to that new function. Because it's still experimental, we need to put in this opt-in. You can also put it at the top level of your file if you want to. And now let's re-execute our first experiment and see what happens. As you can see, the counter increments just like before. And if we step into that function, we set the breakpoint at line 177. And let's see what happens if I activate the debugger. Ah, okay. As expected, gets called. A new value comes in. Once again, mute this breakpoint. And if we put the app now into the background, if everything runs as expected, it would no longer get caught. So I unmute the breakpoints and I wait a little bit and nothing happens. Wonderful. And now we're back into the app. I unmute the breakpoints and you can see the collection proceeds and the counter also updates. So. And that is really all of the magic. You don't have to implement any other stuff. Just use this extension function. Of course, you need to use uh, at the time of this video, the alpha version of that library. Or if you don't want to use it, you can still stick to my article that I previous uh, that I've pre previously written with the custom extension functions and you're good to go. That said, we are already at the end of the video. I hope you had some takeaways and some fun. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, activate the notification bell, and also consider following me on my Medium blog. And I hope I see you soon.